Hi everyone, welcome to Integral Calculus. Today we explore lesson 5.3, the fundamental theorem of calculus. Part one. First, let's get some idea. Consider the graph of ft equal to 2t plus three. We can get an area below the curve from t equal two to t equal x. And it is gonna be this area. We see that area is the function and it depends on x, so a of x. Area under the curve is also the definite integral to, to x ft dt, we can get the area function. Notice that there is a trapezoid, so we can get the area of a trapezoid. Ax is area of trapezoid, which is half of the sum of two parallel sides, a plus b multiplied to the height h. Half A is F2, B is Fx, H is X minus 2. Do the substitution. F2 is 7. Fx is 2x plus 3, X minus 2. We have a half up. 2x plus 10, which is half of 2 times x plus 5, x minus 2. So it's x squared plus 3x minus 10. Mm. Now, a prime x is the derivative of x squared plus 3x minus 10. And that is 2x plus 3. You guys see anything here? The derivative of the area function is exactly f of t. So this is a nice discovery. Yeah? This discovery number one. Discovery number one, what is it? Area function is is the antiderivative But then we know the area function is integral. That means integral is the antiderivative. Pretty cool. And it's awesome. Second part is, let's take a look at the A of two. A of two is the integral from two to two. F T D T from the property of integral. That is zero. A of five is the area from x equal to to x equal five. So if we use the area of a trapezoid, then we have a five square plus three times five minus 10, which is 40. And this is the same as the integral from two to five f t dt. Okay. Now let's work out the integral from two to five of f t dt.
integral two to five. Two t plus three dt. Remember from this COVID number one, right? Anti-derivative. The anti-derivative of two t is t square. The anti-derivative of three is three t. If we don't include the plus c, then this would be the particular anti-derivative. And that would be evaluated from two to five. How do we do this evaluation? Well, if we do a, a substitution with five first minus the substitution with two, we should get 40. Let's see. Five squared plus three times five minus two squared plus three times two. And what do we have here? Exactly 40. Uh, what this means is that we have a second discovery. Ah, discovery number two. And the discovery number two is well, if we do the integral from A to B of fx dx, then this would be the antiderivative f of x evaluate from A to B. And that is exactly f B minus f A. Pretty cool, huh? These two discovery they are the fundamental theorem of calculus. Now, this is the fundamental theorem of calculus. It's that integral, Hawk one. Integral is anti derivative hog two the definite integral from a to b of fx dx would be the anti-derivative of fx evaluate from a to b which is fb minus F A. Where F X is the anti derivative of F. We can use the general anti derivative or the particular anti-derivative, doesn't matter which one. Because when we uh, use the general anti-derivative, the C is gonna cancel out. So it is best just to use the particular anti-derivative in which C is equal to zero. Okay, let's do some example. That has the, to do with the POC one. Here comes some example. Let's the by a prime x give a a x is integral from three to x e to the 
t square minus t dt. Well, we know integration is antiderivative. So if we do a a prime x, then we're gonna get rid of the integration and we have to do the substitution. So it's gonna be e x square minus x multiply to the derivative with respect to x of x. And that is e x square minus x. Always use the chain rule when do uh, the derivative. So it can be ax equal to integral two two x square one over t square plus one dt. A prime x, it would be the, the derivative of the antiderivative. So of course, we're gonna get rid of the integration. And we have one over, we have to substitute t for x squared. So we have a x squared to the power two plus one, multiply because we're taking the derivative. We got to take the derivative up x square so a prime x is 2x over x to the 4 plus 1 pretty cool huh one more c because i have some room here ax equal to integral 1 e to the power 2x L N P D T A prime X would be L N E to the two X multiply to the derivative of E to the two X and that is L N E two X is two X derivative of e to the two x is e to the two x times two. So a prime x is four x e to the two x. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the content useful. Please like, subscribe to have a general growth. I'll see you in the next video.